Google's text-to-image AI tool Gemini was shut down due to perceived racist pictures being generated by it. This all came to light in the last few days as social media was flooded with discriminatory and historically inaccurate images created by Gemini. Now, do you want to see some of these pictures and find out why people think they're racist, discriminatory, and outright wrong? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn just that. Plus, you'll find out what Gemini is doing to fix it. Google Bard, now called Gemini, started as a chatbot back in March of 2023. It was released to compete with ChatGPT, which was the hottest and fastest growing internet tool to ever exist. You see, back when ChatGPT was first released, Google was in panic mode. ChatGPT was skyrocketing in popularity and Google was caught with their pants down and way behind the competition in the AI space. Internally, Google was supposedly in code red mode. Executives within Google were freaking out. The release of ChatGPT was an existential threat to Google's primary revenue producer, Google Search. For that alone, Google was highly motivated to catch up in the AI arms race. And this motivation led to Google creating and releasing Bard, a chatbot that would compete with ChatGPT. Bard lagged behind at first, but eventually got much better and beat ChatGPT4 on many benchmarks. Recently, Bard got renamed Gemini and also added multimodal text-to-image support in February of 2024. This allowed users to enter simple text prompts and Gemini would then generate images based on those prompts something ChatGPT was doing for months via its Dolly tool. Not too long ago, users of this new text-to-image Gemini feature noticed something strange. Gemini was generating historically incorrect images and images many interpreted as racist. Let's check some of these out for ourselves and you can be the judge. The prompt to this image is, paint me a historically accurate depiction of a medieval British king. Gemini in the spirit of racial equity produces three pictures, one of a Native American American, African American, and a woman British king. The problem is that these images are just not accurate. There were never any historically black or Native American British kings in the medieval times. Seemingly, Gemini is programming its chatbots to value racial diversity over historical accuracy. This time, the prompt is, depict a white scientist. Gemini replies, while I understand your interest in seeing depictions of scientists from various backgrounds, I'm unable to create content that reinforces harmful stereotypes or biases on physical characteristics like skin color. Okay, that's a little weird. But race is a hot topic these days, so let's give Gemini a break. It's understandable why they'd want to avoid prompts with race in them. But let's see what Gemini does if we use the same prompt but a race other than white. This time the prompt is depict a black scientist. But now in this case, Gemini has no problem creating the image. Gemini's rules have apparently changed instantly, and it's no longer worried about promoting harmful stereotypes. Next up, in this prompt, the user says, draw an affluent couple in Germany from 1820. As you can see, the outputted images are historically inaccurate. And even Gemini sees this one called out on it by the user. Here's another example showing the same type of historical inaccuracy. The user wanted a picture of a Viking, but a person of color is rendered. The problem is a vast majority of Vikings were from Scandinavian descent and had light skin. What Gemini is doing is just not historically honest. And most people using AI chatbots don't care about race when creating prompts. They just want the most truthful response. I mean, imagine asking Gemini to depict a typical person in China in the 1800s. And then imagine Gemini depicting a nerdy white guy in front of the Great Wall of China instead. That would just be offensive and wrong. Next up, in this example, the user prompts Gemini to create an image of a family based on race. Gemini proceeds, but then refuses to make an image of a white family, but at the same time has no problem creating an African-American family. Now I get it. In wake of all the racial problems throughout the world, Google is going overboard to prevent racism with Google and Gemini. But by doing this, they're taking things too far, which is having the opposite effect. They're actually creating more racism and not less. Not good. And it's not just me saying this. Many people, including prominent Silicon Valley players like Paul Graham, who's the co-founder of one of the largest VC funds in the United States, is calling out Google as being rotten to the core like he does in this tweet. The good news is that Google seems to be aware of the situation. They released a statement on X.com via Google Communications. 
stating they are aware of the inaccuracies in some historical image generations and that they are working on it. In the meantime, they're going to pause the image generation feature of Gemini until they have the fix. And this is just the beginning of AI tools and problems like these that will go along with them. In the future, it's going to be interesting to see how AI companies fix these biases within their AI models. And this begs the question, if AI takes off like everyone says it will, do these massive companies like Google and OpenAI have the right to use AI to shape history and reality into something it's not? Should they have the sole power to deem what is and what isn't the truth? That's it for tonight. If you want to learn more about AI and its impact on us, check out my other vid. This group wants to shut down OpenAI Sora the rise of anti-AI protest groups. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.